All I can say is it's great to be back on board. A few weeks ago, when we could only come for the visit and had to go home, we checked the boat and were really pleased with what we found. Everything looked great, but I knew there had to be some maintenance done. Because that's what you have to do on boats, maintain them or they'll soon deteriorate. So last week when all things opened up again and we were allowed to stay on, on board our boat, we decided to get stuck in and get everything back to the standard we want. And so now we'll continue and I'll show you what I did with the diesel stove. Hello again everyone, well we've had our first evening on board for quite a while, I think it's from November 2020 was when we uh, moored up the boat and that was our last uh, time we could sleep on the, um, I think it was early November. Now we've been back once just to double check things. We came a couple of weeks ago, but now we're back and allowed to stay on board. But after all that time and things not in use, it's a bit of maintenance. I don't mind, you know, I don't mind doing a bit of maintenance. I know I can get people to do it for us, but uh, I like keeping what we call keeping me hand in. <laughs> well, so far, I've taken the cook a hob apart and I've greased all the valves because they'd, they'd all tightened up so I've done all that but I didn't film it because it, it can get quite complicated what I was doing and that and it was more important to get it right but that's that's job number one I did we've put a new telly in but I of course as usual uh, forgot a couple of fittings so they're coming being delivered to the marina um, well today I think just to finish that off but there is a job what we uh, what I'm doing and I always make certain I have all the equipment ready to do it properly we have a diesel stove as many people will know who watch the channel but it needs a good clean out all the with not using it all the soot and all that gets very claggy and it needs a it needs a good clean for it to work properly so that's my next job i'll show you how i do it it's simple enough but it makes it easier when you've got the equipment you know have proper equipment and you get i'll get a a good job done and it'll look like new when i've finished honestly so let's uh let's get on with it We'll start all the bits and pieces now and first of all we do the actual flue itself if you notice because it's a diesel from when we had it the, the boat built it's not got a big collar on like a lot of a lot of uh, boats it's just got this very smart looking uh, stainless steel collar with a cap on so it's all it's all nice and easy So I've took the cap off now and I've got access to the flue using the right type of equipment. If there's one thing I can say, make certain when you're cleaning flues, particularly multi-fuel are a lot worse than this, but get the right type of gear to clean it. Don't try to make, make and mend sort of things. Get proper equipment and they're not dear. This is the exact size of the flue and the right length. And all we do is insert it down 
and bring it up. Do this a few times and there's not much, I'll tell you. That's quite clean, that. Since we last done it, there's not much in that flue. So it's been ver burning very, very well when we've had it on, that's for certain. Maintenance is so important. So that little job's done and we'll move on to the next the next bit now and uh, concentrate on the fire itself so we're ready to do the inside now i'll try to get it close up and personal so you can see what's what it's all very simple these traditional diesel stoves are brilliant and you've got easy access to everything for cleaning besides that we prefer that these type of stoves anyway than uh, the more modern looking ones so I've got my Uber ready I've got my brushes ready let's get it cleaned before I do anything I make certain I've got my brushes these are quite handy they'll be able to get in all the nook and crannies to clean everything so uh, they're the waiting to be put into action. Let's have a look. Wowzer! <laughs> Not much there. Brilliant. That's excellent. That shows you how clear the actual flueway itself was. Not much at all. So I'll take that out. Just put it to one side for now. Have a look. Not bad at all. So we'll get the uh, brushes going and clean everywhere and then I'll over it all out. Well, first of all, I don't need that yet. I'll clean that up after. That's part of the uh, the setup for the burner. Assistant will take it from you, Keith. Thank you very much. Now I'll just try to show you inside before I can continue. If you look there now, there's a bit of soot and a bit of bits and pieces round, so I'll get that cleaned out, and uh, everything should be all right. So I think it's uh, it's time to get on with it. Right. I'll just, uh, so it doesn't get too dusty, I'll just do a bit at a time. Now to continue.
The next part, if you look carefully, this is the burner pot. looking good I'm going to clean the uh, the glass now and I'll just show you what we use very simple are you gonna show those magic glass cleaners I am yes <gasps> yes <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll go and get some of them and we'll make the glass look absolutely perfect again simple things make things a lot easier that is fabulous for cleaning the stove glass very quick and it's spotless in no time so uh, that's what we use and you don't get any scratches either on your glass that's the other important thing This is brilliant for cleaning the, you know, the wind, the window or the glass. Not much effort, and it doesn't scratch it either. Looks good to me. He looks good to me. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, Keith. Not bad. So I'll give that a little clean as well. And this goes round inside. As you can see, the soot on that. So I'll be cleaning that in a minute with my little uh, brush. And uh, it'll be nearly ready then. I'll just, I'll just do the honours. Just clean that.
So another good job done. That's ready to go in. Just move with the bits round the door if there's any dust on that. Lovely. Nearly done. Now, these, what are you looking at? Well, these were what, without these, this diesel stove wouldn't work because they, the heat, believe it or not, it's like an attraction and what holds the flame and that. Without these, it's useless. But our original one, the weld went at the top, so it's ready to come off completely. But rather than try to repair it, we bought a new one. What's going to go in? So I put this together and then we're done. So this goes in first. That's got to be sat in the right spot. If you look now. If that's not sat in the right spot that then it doesn't burn right so it's it's sitting where it should do now. And then this just goes in. And it's ready to be lit. But if you look carefully inside now. That's very clean. And it should work perfect again. Glad I've got that done because uh, we've not done it with not being here. But now it's all ready again. Now I've rebed the flue. What where it joins onto the top of the stove. Sometimes you can be a little bit you'd think it's sealed and it's that outside piece on top what you've filled but that can easily crack and come away it's what's below that in the filling you know how that's filled with with flue sealant and rope that's the important part so uh, i've done all that and then i've what you call sanded it all smooth all round and put the paint on and even if I say so myself, it looks very smart. And finally, and I, <laughs> I've got to say, it's the only way we go. Um, original eco fans, you know the eco fans, not these what are made in unusual ways and that. If you have a proper eco fan, it will last a long, long time. This one, what we've got. Is the original eco fan 24 years ago we got that and it still works perfectly because they're a decent build quality just keep them clean that's an important thing keep it all clean and your workings all dust free and it'll keep going and that clears about 120 cubic feet a minute in the boat but we've added another as well besides that because they upgraded and we've we've added an extra one which makes a huge difference to the the movement of earth through our boat and this one's a bit bigger one of the newer models the Ermax and that shifts around 195 cubic feet a minute so that's pretty good so when you've got both running on top of the stove in the right positions it doesn't half pump up out the heat across around the boat it really does it's lovely and warm in the back just as it is in the front so decent eco fans no none of these cheaper models or anything like that of of very unusual designs proper eco fans originally designed in canada where of course their temperatures are a lot worse than ours 
Maintenance done, or part of it, on the boat after all our uh, delays. All the fires working perfectly again, which is what we wanted. It was working well before, but like I say, keep it clean, keep it maintained, and you reap the rewards, definitely, definitely do. Have a couple of other bits and pieces to do on board, which is only, you know, which is only logical because we've not been here, we've not been able to keep on top of things like we always do. But uh, that's definitely done for now, and I think we're, uh, or I am making a curry tonight. We're eating al fresco. We are eating al fresco. Are you cooking? I'm cooking. Yes, Yay! we'll have a nice. A nice chicken curry, I think, tonight. You can put your chef's outfit on now. Change that chimney sweep outfit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's it. I don't know what's coming next, because it's a bit unusual this year. It certainly is. But there'll be something. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. I know I don't say it much. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like or dislike? Doesn't matter. And share with people. We keep it real and we keep it as boating is for us. Nothing else. We just enjoy doing it. It's our passion and we just love it. But that's definitely it now. I'll go and get my chef's outfit on and uh, a relaxing evening ad, no doubt. Tara! <laughs>